trying to get it right before he puts it to work. He says it's most of the way there. He feels like he's ready to compete. And I feel like Leo, the way he is, just with his strong mental game, if he wasn't ready, he wouldn't come. It's what we saw with him in the last two. So if he's here, that's a good sign. Leo going to be going around the back door, Neil. Leo Slamet knocking on the back door. Also hitting this competition last year, coming back from injury and winning. This year starting from start one instead of start two. Straight off the ridge, Dublin down. I think the same top here as Christopher Turdell took last year on his way to a second behind Leo with a backflip off the next hit. Perfectly executed stomp down. That one looks like it's easier to flip than it is to spin. The guys that are threeing it are, are looking not wonky, but not as tight, but the flippers looking super clean so leo what a way to get his run started he's back and when he's back he is a danger man he can get it done big three for leo slam and he wants his title back yeah i think he hit the same two hits as drew except he flipped the one that drew spun and spun the one that drew flipped bottom here the same though Nice and clean there for Leo Slemon. He found uh, he found the spot. I think what it came down to is actually not popping that setback takeoff, but pulling the feet up, taking it on a little bit of absor ab absorption instead of a big pop because it is a very limited runway. And if you overshoot the runway, you see the uh, the impact gets a lot harder. So Leo, that was smart, smart, uh, smart strategizing there and smart technique. It all goes together, and in a rider like this, what a great way to get his run started, though. The smart smarts from Leo, reminiscent of Christopher's run from last year, maybe a little bit of a tribute to that run that he was on the podium with, but this backflip, so stomped, does not look like a guy just coming back from Achilles' injury. It looks much more like a guy that's been charging all season to me. Yeah, as we said, he's not going to come back until he's ready to do that. And that's why he waited. That's why he sat out the last two events, because he wasn't ready to put down a Leo Slemmett run. Well, he is now, and he just did. So interesting. The judges are going to have their work cut out for them. We've got so many different kinds of runs here right up at the top. Carl's run looked one way. Isaac's run looked like a video game. Uh, Leo's run just looked perfect. So there's so much going on here. Can't wait to see what the judges have to say. Also, don't envy them. Absolutely not. Tough, tough day to be a judge. Lights coming and going, snows different different parts of the face, all the riders with different styles. But just take home message for people aspiring and free ride for me is to don't ski with an injury. 93.67 for Leo Slemmett. He is back and he is breathing fire.